Hi and welcome to this tutorial by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom cursor in Flash CS3. Now you're probably wondering, well if it's Flash CS3 why is Adobe Photoshop opened? Well we're going to be creating the cursor first and then I'm going to be showing you how to use it in Flash. So this isn't going to take very long in Photoshop. Uh, I just got an image off the internet. Uh, it's a sword. I figure that'll make a pretty good cursor. Um, so I just put this in Photoshop and I'm just going to grab it with the magic wand. Uh, there are better ways, but uh, I'm just going to use that. So I'm just going to hold uh, Alt. Uh, it's being dumb. I'm just going to hold Alt and click on the end of the blade there so I can make sure I get the whole thing. That looks like a pretty good selection. So I'm going to right click with the marquee tool and do layer via cut. And I'll just, whoops, I deleted the wrong layer there. We're going to delete the white part of it. And now we can just grab our pen tool and get rid of this uh, sheath here. We don't need that. We want the whole blade. So right click after you make your selection. And I am going to delete that by doing the same thing, the layer via cut. And it looks like I forgot a little bit down here, so I'm just going to erase it. All right, so now we have our sword. And I am going to grab the outline of the sword by holding control and clicking on this little icon next to the layer. And that will put uh, a selection around the uh, image. I'm going to go to select, modify, uh, contract. To contract by two pixels and then select modify feather. We'll feather it by uh, two pixels is okay. And then I'm going to do the marquee right click layer via cut again and we're going to delete the outline. It's looking a little fuzzy but when we size it down to cursor size in flash it'll look perfectly fine. So I'm going to grab the eraser and just kind of brush up the handle here. All right. That's looking good. So now uh, I'm just going to do image trim and click transparent pixels on and then all these are checked and click OK. And basically what that does is it trims it down to wherever it touches on the very corner of your image. And this is kind of off screen here, but um, if you could see it, it's touching the very tip of the blade down there. So it just gets rid of all the excess. Um, so now we're going to go to file, save for web and devices, and it's going to bring up this. And we're just going to have it, looks good. We're just going to save as a PNG. Normally it's on uh, GIF or JPEG, uh, but I'm going to put it on PNG 24. So we'll save all the colors. And what this does is it saves it as a transparent uh, document. So if you're ever wondering why or how to save things as transparencies um, and not on plain white, this is how you do it. Save as a PNG. So I'm just going to save that as Katana on my desktop. I already have one, so I'll just replace that. And then we're going to open up Flash. So now we're in Flash. Let me just size this up a little bit for you guys. Hold on, let me. It's being dumb. Um, size this up. I just got a basic, uh, um, basic uh, document here. I just opened it up. It's 550 by 500. Um, so what we're going to need to do is get our picture in here. So we're going to go to File, Import, Import to Stage. And we're going to find our picture. So we're going to do Katana and just open that up. That's what I saved it as. Grab your uh, free transform tool and scale it down by holding Shift. So it uh, holds its uh, size. Oops, we don't want it to be a curved katana. Didn't mean to skew it there. And uh, that looks like a pretty good size, and we'll just rotate it to keep accidentally clicking off there. That looks good. Uh, maybe a little more. All right, there we go. So what is going to happen when we add our action script to this is this point right here is going to be what's actually clicking on it. So. I mean, you probably want to size it down or find a smaller sword if you're using a document this size. Um, but I mean, if you had something, had a game or something like a ninja game, and you wanted a cool, uh, cool cursor for the uh, 
home page of it when you select if you have a new game or whatever you're doing you can have it for a flash ad or whatever I mean it's just a nice uh, technique for that so now we're actually going to make this into something we're actually gonna make it move so you need to click on it and then hit F8 it's gonna bring up this convert to symbol box and you need it to be a movie clip and we're gonna call it new and then cursor and make sure you have the uh, the characters uh, the same like you just remember which ones are uh, uppercase and lowercase because that will come in handy later so just click OK and I'm going to also give us an instance name without putting a space in there of the same thing with the capital C and now what we're going to do is click on this first frame of your layer here which I guess we can name cursor that's helpful um, and we're going to just click on the first frame and then click actions so now what we're gonna write is the first we're gonna hide the regular mouse so we're gonna do mouse dot hide and then open close parenthesis and then a semicolon so that's gonna hide our normal mouse so now just hit enter and this code is pretty short and I've seen a lot of ways to do this and it involves a lot of action script and it's just it's just a mess. You got to add action script to different things, and this is the simplest way that I know how to do it. So we're going to just add two lines of code, and it works perfect. So we're going to say new cursor, and that's our uh, katana here. Remember, we named it new cursor, and we gave it an instance name of that. And then we're going to say dot, and then start, and then drag. So when we start to drag it, then it is true. So we start to drag it, the cursor is like visible. So we're going to put a semicolon and that's the end of our action script. So I'm gonna close this up here so you can see it. And we're gonna do control test movie, no errors. And look at that, we're moving our sword around when and there's no mouse. And if you look when I come up over, you can see that right when I get to the edge of that, that's where my mouse comes off so it's a little bit little bit off but I think that it's a little faded on our image so there's probably something there that I can't see um, <clears throat> but as you can see custom cursor in flash so uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe rate and comment and I'll see you next week thanks